Hey everyone, it's Argonath here from The Right Way, and uh, some, well, depends on your point of view, some either good news or bad news. Uh, apparently News Hub is set to close at the end of June. So News Hub is um, part of NZME and provides um, the news for certain radio stations as well as TV3. Um, and obviously they're a big part of the biased left-wing mainstream media, as all of us um, kind of centrist or um, conservative people know. So let's have a look at um, some of the bulletins here. So News Hub will shut down at the end of June under a proposal by owner Warner Brothers Discovery. The TV exec who delivered the closure bombshell told Stuff the prospect of losing, losing so many journalists was horrific. Oh my God, horrific. Well, I'd like to say that a lot of those journalists are probably not journalists, they're just opinion givers who give their opinion in their own left-wing slant. About 200 staff may lose their jobs at the closure, with many feeling blindsided by an absolute brutal staff meeting. Now, I guess I should temper my criticism a bit because there will be lots of people um, who are not related to the direction that the um, news takes um, for that. So, you know, the, the back, back, back staff people, um, caterers, all that kind of stuff. Those people are being affected, uh, but they don't have any say in terms of the direction of the um, news and, all, and the line that they take anyway. So I feel a bit sorry for those people. I have no empathy for any of the so-called journalists or opinion givers, as well as the management and top brass of NZME and TV3, and for that matter, TVNZ, um, and all of them lot as well. Um, who had this to say? It's a sad day for the news media. The pressures are huge, an uncompetitive market. See what our top politicians had to say, blah, blah, blah. Why is it an uncompetitive market? Well, maybe we can uh, figure that out a little bit as we go through. Um, so this is a terrible announcement. Warner Brothers, Warner Brothers Discovery, New Zealand boss Glenn, Glenn Kine said. There's no sugarcoating it, and I wish I could be standing up here with better news. In a one hour long meeting, broadcaster, <laughs> broadcaster in the broader sense of the word, Paddy Gower, even gave his own impromptu speech as a gesture of support to his colleagues. You're a fat, well, not fat, but you're an idiot, Paddy Gower. I can still remember when um, those two Americans, or oh, actually Canadians, um, Lauren Southern and I can't remember the guy's name, but they absolutely destroyed Paddy Gower in an interview. Just look it up, actually. Lauren Southern versus Paddy Gower on YouTube. Watch that video. You can see him getting absolutely destroyed by those two people. What a completely hopeless so-called journalist. Uh, Mike McRoberts. We at TV3, we have had cuts and we've survived cuts in the past, but to lose the whole news operation and entity that are so entwined in the fabric of our society. And there's your problem right there, because you're fucking left-wing idiots and you go along with this woke agenda. Don't put fucking Aotearoa, put New Zealand, right? Use the proper name for the country. It is absolutely heartbreaking, you left-wing twat. I'm glad you're losing your fucking job. Um, so we know the direction that the mainstream media has taken. They're completely left-wing. A lot of their so-called news is slanted in a particular direction towards the left-wing. And so obviously when you do that, it turns people off watching your frigging news. And if people don't watch your frigging news, advertisers don't want to advertise on it. Seems pretty straightforward to me. Let's have a hear of what the um, TV exec has had to say. Um, in an interview with Stuff on Wednesday afternoon, hours after the delivering the news to hundreds of its own journalists, the boss said, between now and News Hub's proposed closure date, there are zero alternatives on the table as it stands. We'll be managing our cost base as tightly as we possibly could have, but at, we're at a point where the revenue drop is so significant that we've had to make a major proposal today. Uh, last year, he met with the then broadcasting minister, Willie Jackson, to discuss News Hub's struggles. Kine said he never approached the then Labour government, nor has he gone to the current government asking for a bailout, because you don't deserve one. 
none of us need to prop you up. In fact, we're already propping you up anyway with the um, Public Interest Journalism Fund, which was basically a bribe by the later government because to get any of that money, you had to sign up to the charter, which was that you weren't allowed to go against the principles of the Treaty of Waitangi. And you had to pr promote that. You just sold yourself out because that means you can't take any um, critical thought about any issues relating to the treaty. You can't give any other side of view as well. You absolutely sold yourselves out. And now you're wondering why you cannot make money. Well, a lot of us people in New Zealand have already figured this out. Let's see what else this guy has to say. Um, I think it was near the bottom. Um, here we go. He said after the COVID-19 pandemic, the media market dropped significantly. And while there was a rebound in 2021 and a sense of optimism, the global economic crisis started to have an impact on TV advertising in a significant way from mid-2022 and it hasn't rebounded since. What are you talking about? During the pandemic, people were all at home and what could they do? Watch TV, right? I mean, yeah, the old people watch TV, the newer people probably watch Netflix and stuff like that. You had a captured market, right? Why could you not make money then? Because you towed the um, vaccination narrative. You towed the um, pandemic narrative, right? And so people turned off because they were sick of seeing all these so-called experts from Michael Baker to that fat hag, I can't remember her name, um, as well, talking to us all the time on the TV, telling us to do this, telling us to do that when they weren't doing that themselves, right? No wonder people started turning off you. You couldn't have any other points of view on there as well. I mean, you should have been able to make tons of money during the pandemic because all people were doing were watching TV or movies. Broadly, nearly 100 million has left the TV advertising sector over that time, which is nearly 20% of the market. And what's that done it has put enormous pressure on the operating model and made it unsustainable into the future. Well, I wonder why 100 million is left. Maybe because if you started to put out stories that appeal to everyone in New Zealand, left wing, right wing, centre, then people will tend to watch it more. Whereas if you just go to one side, the left wing, which is less than 40% of the New Zealand population now, then obviously that's going to cause a problem for you, isn't it? But obviously they're not going to make sense. And don't think that Warner Bros. Discovery know this kind of stuff because they work in Hollywood and they're woke as shit anyway, right? Just look at some of the shit that Warner Brothers is putting out, like the CW shows, absolute trash, like Batwoman, um, all that kind of stuff. Just absolute dross, right? Following all the left-wing talking points and so on. So it's no wonder that TV3 has gone that way. And it's no wonder they're not making money because you're turning off over more than 60% of people who don't prescribe to that particular view. So it's no wonder. Now, we um, all remember those days when Tova O'Brien um, and Duncan Garner were on the TV or TV3. And I still remember they were lambasting the then um, Bill English National Party during the election against Jacinda Ardern about child poverty and homelessness, people living in their cars. And we just had this constant diet of this left-wing diatribe every day leading up to the election. And then as soon as Jacinda won the election, it completely stopped. It was so blatant. And now they're wondering why they're losing all their jobs. It's a good job. Well done. You guys did it to yourselves. Now, we all re also remember when Sean Plunkett was cancelled from, uh, what was he on? He was on, was it News Talk? No, he was on Magic Talk Radio because of his views, right? And it was supposedly on certain things that he said during his show, but it was essentially because he didn't toe the line. And now he's got a significant um, new media company called The Platform. And so let's just have a listen to Sean Plunkett's view as to why um, News Hub is actually closing down. Not be adaptive. And I think the problem was editorially they weren't adaptive. And let's be frank. Not adaptive, right? Why were they not adaptive? 
because they couldn't see the change um, in people, you know, not now confirming to this left-wing view. They needed to adapt and bring more centrist and conservative stories to the news websites. Oh, show stories from all the different angles, but they don't want to do that. Here, Michael, the gravy train of government funding is over. And I think the investors looked at that and said, we cannot afford to have a news service if it's not being propped up by a government. And they took the money and they compromised their editorial stands. And that is the harsh reality of the world. Brilliantly well said, Sean Plunkett. Absolutely correct, right? Um, the, the gravy train from the government, the Public Interest Journalism Fund, is closing down. Well done, national government, because it's just a propaganda arm of the Labour Party um, and the Greens, probably. And uh, News Hub has seen the writing on the wall. Without that money, they're not going to survive because they don't appeal to broad New Zealand. It's just the way of the world. And people saw that they sold their souls for this money, right? They couldn't publish any stories that, that would have a different narrative against the um, Treaty of Waitangi and how it's being used by the Maori, I don't mean the normal Maoris, the Maori elite to basically twist things their way and give them the benefit. And none of that benefit actually trickles down to the um, the normal Maori person out there doing their best. So, you know, I'm, I'm still processing it, to be honest. I guess personally I feel that that's well, it was already history to me, and it's now become become history. Well said, exactly. Sean Plunkett saw the, the writing on the wall, right? Come up with an online platform. You don't need to spend tons and tons of money. But he's just got a studio, an office with a production studio, another office next to it, um, a really nice web camera, a really great microphone, and just your own views and opinions. He's not a news, he's not a journalist. He's, he's, he's gives his own opinion on things, right? And he doesn't pretend to be a journalist. He's not being impartial to, pro to providing the news. That's what NZME is supposed to be doing, providing impartial news to the country. Let us form our own opinions on things, but no. So it's no wonder that uh, TV, uh, sorry, not TV3, but TV3 News will be closing down. Um, I guess they might have to start their own in-house news service, but you know, what's gonna happen to TV3? Basically, it's just dross anyway. I hardly watch any kind of um, network TV these days. I kind of get most of my news from um, YouTube um, and online. Don't really watch news on TV anymore, other than just seeing how left-wing they actually are. Anyway, personally, I think it's great. All these um, left-wing nutjobs and, and the so-called news hub um, journalists can go out and try and find a job in the real world. I'm sure they'll probably find something because there'll be people that will throw money at these people. But um, I think it's a great day for us normal people because we can start to see the downfall of the mainstream media. And I want to see more people like Sean Plunkett with the alternative views and alternative um, media avenues to gain a bit more traction. So if you happen to be watching this and you don't already watch Sean Plank or listen to Sean Plunkett, go to the platform, the website, you can just search it up or go onto YouTube and search up the platform. Lots of great content on there. Anyway, that's it from me. Um, hopefully I'll catch you in the next video. If you got this far, thank you so much for listening. Please click the um, thumbs up and click the notification bell. And please subscribe if you happen to like my content. Anyway, bye for now. Hopefully catch you next time.